Hey! I have made one of the funniest vlogs I've ever made. I keep starting vlogs and not finishing them. So this is essentially a bunch of footage compiled, multiple different things. Food is involved, obviously. Life, travel, sweet chick collab, Tulum, pizza party, kind of didn't really film it. London, I don't know, bunch of random stuff. Sorry that it's been so long. Okay, love you, enjoy. Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. Everybody has fat pads under their eyes and it turns out that mine are like protruding. In the morning, they're like extra puffy, but just naturally, like I'm so puffy. I am like a candidate for this surgery to basically like help them. I hate it and it's like physically uncomfortable, so I'm considering like fixing it. Update, I did not get that surgery, as you can see. I just, uh, I'm too scared. Anyway, I'm getting ready to go do a menu tasting of my own curated menu at Sweet Chick. And I'm doing an event with them. I just figured I would bring my camera. That is a little bit too long, in my opinion. I go to Vanity Project in Chinatown. They're the best in the world. Okay, I'm gonna wash my face. Not, not the boob sweat. No. I love Elsie's boob sweat. Oh, you actually have a t-shirt for me. <laughs> is it Hey guys. Is, is it recording? Hey guys, it's Elsie Eats at the Sweet Chick HQ. This is our, wow, that looks beautiful. This is our diabetic display. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm ready. Come in right now to explain. Oh, ah, whoa. On the table for brunch for dinner, you'll have the cinnamon bun waffle, the plastic waffle chicken. We'll also do veggie chicken. So these are completely off the menu. All of this is off the menu, except for the waffles and the chicken. Wait, am I supposed to dip this in, sir? Yeah. It tastes just like a McGriddle. Yeah. Nothing. Baby. Whoa, try it. Are you scared? No. A mouse beard of sausage. Oh my god. Mmm. Which might look better. Maybe we should get one each of each. Perfect for a hot day. I like don't, I can't really do cinnamon. I'm cool with it though. Also, can it also be eaten like with the chicken? So it's kind of nice to like choose which waffle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't make This is my favorite cold brew in New York. Dua Lupus and Lupus Riasco. It's smooth and it's not too acidic. I don't think I should raise it. I like to laugh at everything. I like you too. Okay, that was our sweet chick tasting. Mental! Several days later. Morning! I have a fun video today. Well, actually, I have a fun next few days. I have my event with... Oh my gosh. I made these little stickers and this is the invitation to my event. I had this really cute idea. I wanted it to look really like pinup girl vibes. I styled it myself. I did my own hair, my own makeup, everything. Anyway, we're doing brunch for dinner. It's a private 40 person dinner at Ludlow House. The whole point is essentially bringing together a like intimate community of people. So I've invited kind of random group of people and it's people that I've met throughout my career. And I think the point is to really hone in on the sense of community that food brings. And that was something I kind of felt like I was lacking before I started LC Eats because of modeling, I was like restricting myself so much and really struggling with that balance because I had a lot of like issues with my eating, which obviously I've been open about. We have Van Lewin doing like a dessert bar. It's a whole thing. I'm gonna bring you along. I'm moving all of my stuff into storage tomorrow. And then I'm going to Mexico. I'm going to Tulum. And I'm going to LA. And I'm going on my own. I'm going on vacation on my own, which is kind of crazy for me. I have a lot of work coming up in LA. I'm filming a show and I'm hopefully filming a movie. So I'm gonna be really busy. So I want to like reset. Ow! Wow, how, ow. 
Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm on my way to Ludlow House. I did a bunch of pink makeup and I have a pink outfit. Pink bag, pink phone case, pink nails, pink. I wish I was hungry, but I'm actually so nervous right now. I don't know why, you know? I think I just care a lot. Back in to the tea. I hope he made it with love. That's the secret ingredient. These are Well, these ones are cuter. These ones. I just got home from my sweet chick event and I'm making ch uh, chicken tenders. Ever met an original girl? Ever met an original girl? So what do we think? Was it a success? So I think that the event was definitely a success. I think everyone had fun. I think you created a sense of community in the room. I think you brought out really cute people. All the press were happy, the food was delicious, thanks to Chef Lauren and Chef George and Anu and Jordan and all the people. Shout out to Sweet Chick. We love to eat fried chicken all the time. My mac and, and cheese was a hit, was a your smash. Mac cheese, your mac and cheese fucked. What was in it again? Like 20 different types of cheeses and everything that gives you a heart attack. Recipe on my okay. YouTube. Oh my god! I just found crinkle cut fries in my freezer. I'm putting them in the oven. Are you gonna make them? Yes. Like, subscribe, and follow below to see more updates from your hottest foodie, Elsie Hewitt. The next day. I just got to Cancun. The weather's like, it's so humid here. It's actually wild to go into my hotel now. I'm on a solo thing. Oh my god, they gave me beer in the car. Hi. What is up, my people? I'm in my beautiful hotel room. Doing a little work, even though I said that I was gonna be on vacation. I'm wearing a For Love and Lemons bathing suit. This hotel is amazing. It's called La Valise. This is me. I just wanted to set the stage. I got here like a few hours ago, ate some chips and guac, laid out. Had a guy come up to me twice asking for feet pics. I was like, no, thanks so much though. He was like, you have beautiful feet. I was like, thank you. But in my mind, I was like, no, I don't. Like at all. Like I hate my feet. Anyway. I hope I eat some really good food here. My favorite restaurant in Tulum, I found it the first time I came here when I was like 19, before Tulum was like a thing. I mean, it was a thing then, but it is really different now, I feel like, even just for the few hours that I've been here like at this hotel, it's just different. I don't know how to explain it. I just think it like became such a popular tourist attraction that it's not as like low key. But when I first came here, I found this restaurant called La Mal Malquerida. 
beautiful fresh food and it's like where all the locals went which i didn't even know that and it was really cute they had like the best servers i would get like fresh fish with like lemon and garlic and like for some reason the best guacamole and the best ceviche i've ever had in my life really good tacos just like amazing food right and i was so excited to come here and like take myself on a little date there so I go to my map once I arrive. It was like one of the first things I did. Like, okay, how far away am I? It came up on my map and it said permanently closed. I was like, is this like, has, how long ago did this happen? Is it COVID? Like what happened? One of the guys at the hotel came to me to ask like what I was doing this evening, if I needed help like making reservations or like a driver to like take me where I wanted to go, whatever. And I was like, what happened to La Malca, Malca, why can I not say it? I was like, what happened to La Malcarita? It's my favorite restaurant. He was like, oh yeah, no, it shut down. Like there was a shooting there and two people died. Like the police like permanently closed it. And it was like really bad and like really sad and like a whole thing in the town. My heart breaks for all involved and the loss of this beautiful restaurant that had such good food. So I'm trying to decide where I want to eat tonight. Me and my camera, me and you guys. I have been stressed. Okay. Oh, I drank a coconut tequila drink out of an actual coconut. It was beautiful. Okay, bye. I just like dropped my bite and did not realize that I had cut my teeth. I ate so much ice cream last night. I do not need this, but I got Kinder and banana. Oh my God. It's so humid that it's fogging up my little camera. I'm getting destroyed by mosquitoes. It's so funny because when they said the yogurt was coming, I was like, okay, well, I just won't have the yogurt. And I just realized that that doesn't work for me. If I say I'm not gonna have something and they put it in front of me, I'm having it. Oh my god, that looks so good. Oh my god, that is so good. I don't really eat yogurt and granola in the mornings. I'm like a savory breakfast person, but damn. I'm eating the perfect little bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> several days later. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, if you're new here, which you're probably not because my vlogs are <laughs> <laughs> So my camera was doing this thing where it was, I was like, why is it making skin look so good? And then I realized that I had this setting on where it makes everybody's skin look really smooth. And I was like, I don't like that. I'm a real bitch. I turned off the skin smoothing filter. We're on our way to a pizza party. <laughs> I don't really make money off my vlogs because I swear too much. Viagra jacket, some jewelry from V the Label. <laughs> I sound like such an influencer. This little fit from Meow. I bought it, so <laughs> I'm not even getting paid for this and it wasn't even free. That's a prime theater. Not me vlogging. Oh, I didn't know that. That's fucking Meow. Two weeks later. Hey guys, it's me, Elsie Hewitt. Elsie Eats. Elsie. Where are we? We're in London. We just wanted to say hi. Love you. You literally just ordered 8,000 pounds of dessert. It's like Thanksgiving. It's a lava cake, a cookie, and a little... This place called Deza. Milkshake and an Oreo sundae. Oh, they're so cute. Where the fuck are the straws? Oh. Oh, they didn't bring straws. My tummy is all fucked up. My bed's about to be all fucked up. Not for the right reasons. Bro. <laughs> 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 oh, oh that, was that sums up the disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> it's good though. Okay, good. good it's enough. actually really good. Okay, that's called shame. That's called oh. discipline. <laughs> and that's Lexi's. And this is me. And that's the hole in my sock. Bro, why did we think we could do this? Because we can. It's okay. I am starting to believe that you reach an age 
20. Well, you just can't handle any of this shit. Once you hit 25, your body starts like deteriorating. Great, so I have about six months left. Mm -hmm. What do you mean your body starts deteriorating at 25? 75 years of deterioration? Not everybody lives to be exactly 100. Okay, well, I'm going to. <laughs> I'm not. I don't want to live past like 40. Just kidding. Oh my 80. god, I'm gonna throw up. I'm not actually gonna throw up, but.